What's up, everybody? My name is Spencer, and welcome to American Electrician. On today's video, it's gonna be a big one. We're gonna be taking a look at the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack MC and what I carry in it. I'll kind of explain how I use it, and we'll go over some of the tools that are inside of my electrician's tool bag. If you're new here to the channel, welcome on American Electrician. We do electrical how-tos as well as gear reviews. Uh, such as this tool bag and the tools that are inside of it. So if you're new and it's something you're interested in, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. But for now, let's get started. Now, all of these tools and this bag will be listed in links, uh, Amazon links down in the description. There is, they are affiliate links. So if you buy something with them, they don't cost more, but a part of that does go towards me helps me support the channel. So if that's something you guys are interested in, go check it out. All right, so here's our bag. Um, what I use this bag for is mostly, uh, it carries around my VDE tools, like all my insulated tools. If I'm going to do a lot of panel work, going to do hot work or something, this bag goes with me. Uh, it has a lot of specialty tools in it. And what it allows me to do is, it allows me to not work out of my pouch. Um, so my normal backpack, I don't have linemen's, I don't have strippers, um, things like that. I just keep the things that I don't keep in my pouch. This bag is a do-it-all bag. So if I'm just gonna take one thing and not my not my pouch, but just a backpack, I take this backpack. Um, and it's the Tech Pack MC. Uh, it's great, I love it. I use this bag for a long time and then wanted something a little bigger. Um, but it does have uh, one zip pocket in the front here. I don't carry anything in it. Uh, a fold up pouch up here, and it's got a neoprene pocket up top. You can't hold a ton in there, but you can hold what you need to. We go to the side over here. It's got all these D rings on it. Those are super cool, super, super useful um, for hanging a hammer off of or your tape. And then it's also got these pockets here. Um, I have a marker, a Sharpie, and then a small file in them. I do not keep much in here. They do tend to, things tend to fall out of these, especially depending on how you move your bag. Um, and then we've got the other side here, which has another D ring, um, and then two small pockets on the sides, as well as a tape clip, uh, which you can also hang your drill from if you're moving, but those type of things tend to slide off. So we'll get started here with the front pocket. Um, the handles on these are super nice. If you don't know anything about Vito, super high quality bags. Uh, they last for forever. I think there's a five year warranty for them. Uh, any type of defect or anything like that. Um, I love Vito products. The handles on them are sturdy. Uh, and the bases, they, they don't rock, they don't move. Um, they very rarely tip over. So those are great. We'll take a look inside. Boom. Um, as you can see, you know, a ton of organization, a uh, ton of places to put your tools. What I like to do is I like to keep my screwdrivers up top that I can keep up top. Um, it just kind of helps things from getting super crazy. Uh, and then my pliers, I like to put them handled down inside of the, um, inside the bottom. So that way the heads just kind of don't like to go down there as well. And then that way I know what kind of pliers I'm pulling out as well. All right, so now we'll start from this side and start pulling stuff out. Uh, we'll empty it out and kind of let you guys see what it looks like empty as well. So right here, Weeha, uh, Linemans, these things are great. I don't like them as much as the Nipex, uh, but I did buy a set of them and this was kind of the perfect setup to use them. Have these shears. Uh, these things are actually fantastic. I don't remember the actual name for these, but they are the Weeha insulated shears. The Nipex um, Strix, I think, S-T-R-I-X. These things, the handles are super comfortable. Um, a lot different stripper. I actually have a video on it. I'll tag it up in the corner. Here we have the um, Weeha alligator pliers. These things are basically like the Cobras um, from Nipex. They have the button. Handles are so comfortable. Uh, that is one reason I love to use these. 
And then I have diagonal cutters from Weha with the insulated handle. Um, and then these, I have a, a ton of these Weha insulated screwdrivers. I have a whole set of them. Uh, number one and number two Phillips, number one and number two square, um, and then a few different sizes of slotted. These are my favorite screwdrivers. I like the handles, they're comfortable. The tips of these are fantastic. They are laser etched and I thought it was gimmicky uh, until I started using it. And then I realized that they are, I mean, they're fantastic. You really, you really can't beat them. Um, so we'll just kind of pull these screwdrivers out. Um, number two square, uh, five and a half, which is like a quarter inch. Um, standard tipped, flat tipped screwdriver. And then uh, needle nose pliers from Weha with the insulated handles. And then this is a standard tipped uh, Weha, but this is the guy the slim blade on it. Um, so that way, I can't remember what I was using these for, but I was using these a lot. Um, sometimes that bigger, the bigger insulation gets caught and tends to peel off for some of the standard screws. So um, that's something I keep in this bag. Next, we have a 3 8 insulated T-handle from Weha. Um, a lot of the lugs in our panels um, at, in homes are 3 8 And so this one tends to come in handy uh, quite often if somebody's having issues with a loose neutral or something's getting loose and getting hot. Um, just something we ran into a couple times. And then also in the bottom here um, is my Fluke T6 600. It's an okay meter. Um, it's not my favorite, which is why it's in this bag, but it will get the job done. Now we'll go through the top here. Um, just a little Stanley box knife, uh, fold out box knife. And then up here we have, a. Uh, these are just two terminating screwdrivers. Um, so just really tiny um, flat tip screwdrivers, both from Weira. And then these two here, um, a number one square, and this is a number one Phillips that I was telling you guys about earlier. So now we will take a look uh, at these pockets here. Um, and I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like empty as well as um, what's inside of these front pockets. All right, so as you can see, um, it goes pretty far down here. There's, there's pockets uh, all the way down here at the bottom to kind of hold tools in. And there's even these empty spots which you can put stuff um, like these linemans, they fit right in here. Um, I put half in and half out. And so uh, aside from that, these pockets up here, you know, these hold my little screwdrivers and really whatever you want. Um, they can hold quite a bit. So it's a lot of storage. It really helps organize your stuff so it's not just flopping around. Now, if you look at uh, the front flop here, there's one pocket that's got the see-through and there's one pocket behind that. So if you open up the zipper, um, little string comes out and it clips onto this D-ring up here so it can hold out like a table. Uh, I don't use it like that. It just kind of gets in the way for me for how often I use this bag, but I keep a wire number book in here. And then in this pocket, I keep a insulated bit holder, some wire nuts, and uh, I think a few batteries, AAA batteries for my meter and my voltage detector. All right, moving around to the back. This is one of the cool things about Vito. Um, it does have this little, these little levers up here, so it doesn't pull so hard on the back uh, zippers. But it opens up and has all of this in here. Um, so as you can see, this one is it's a lot less uh, crowded in this spot. You know, I don't want to keep too much in here. I don't want it to be heavy. Um, there's no, there's no real benefit in it being super heavy for me. Um, so we'll go through these tools real quick. Uh, first, I keep some zip ties over here, uh, especially for working in panels and stuff. You know, you want everything to be clean after you leave. Zip ties are the way I prefer to do that. Um, we have a huge, 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 huge flathead here. Um, 
it comes in handy every now and then. Two insulated 7 16 and 9 16 nut drivers, um, not hollow shafted. They, I haven't found any that are hollow shafted that come like that. Um, I have one standard Phillips driver, um, probably just because this doesn't have the insulation around it. Uh, and so anytime I need something to fit in somewhere tight, probably just use that. Um, next, these are some Weeha, Weeha strippers. Um, they are for Romex. I just haven't got these out of here. I actually got another pair to replace these, which you'll see here in a second, um, which are these. These are the ideal ones. They're actually linemen's. Um, they have a lineman head on them, but they also do Romex 12-2 and 14-2, uh, especially for you know when you're getting in panels and stuff. Um, you just want it to look as clean as possible, and this is the cleanest way that I like to do it, in, in the panel at least, um, to strip the actual sheathing off of the Romex. Next, a T25 um, security Torx bit. You run into them every now and then, especially on like a bus bar, or not a bus bar, um, on a neutral bar or something like that, they'll have them put in with a T25. Uh, and so I just like to have a screwdriver available. Uh, six and a half, which is like, I don't know, a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. And then here I've got uh, an insulated ratchet. This thing's super cool. It's made from Weera. Um, it's a pretty nice ratchet. It's comfortable in your hand, but this is just for uh, things like tightening down lugs and different things, especially that aren't the same exact size as uh, the 3 8 that I was showing you earlier. Um, aside from that, I've got a little headlamp down here in the bottom of the bag. And I've also got this here. Um, it's a light, but it's also a voltage detector um, from Fluke. I thought it was cool, so I bought it. Um, it's okay. It clips onto stuff. It's a little light. It, do it does what it's supposed to. But now we'll take a look at these empty pockets and these empty these zipper pockets here. So let's do it. In the back here, we've got it's a, it's a lot different setup in the back than it is in the front. Um, these pockets are a lot stretchier. Obviously, there's a lot more room uh, in the top pockets here, as well as in the bottom. Um, and then these pockets up top are very stretchy. You know, I usually keep bits or something in there um, if I'm using it as a normal normal uh, backpack. But there is quite a few things you can get in there, and these pockets here are actually the exact same there's the front pocket that you can see through and then there's the back pocket I don't believe I have anything in here I would be wrong I have I mean just a little roll of wire uh, for who knows what uh, fishing and stuff probably just junk and then in this pocket I think I have a couple drill bits a couple nails um, zip bits, and some bits from Weira. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you learned from it and what you carry in yours that I don't carry in mine. Uh, so I, I appreciate it, you guys. I will see you guys on the next one.